Hi, it's Blake again with Northwinds Wilderness School. Welcome back. It's a beautiful day here in northern Wisconsin, and I just want to take a couple minutes to talk to you about this plant here. Um, this is Canadian goldenrod, otherwise known as Solidago canadensis. There are many different kinds of goldenrod in Wisconsin and Minnesota, um, but functionally speaking, as far as edible medicinal um, properties, the different species aren't important. However, this one is Solidago canadensis, otherwise known as Canadian goldenrod. As you can see while I'm standing next to these, um, they get almost six feet tall. They're a pretty tall plant. These ones are, I don't know, five and a half or so. Um, they grow in disturbed transitional zones, which is very similar to what you'll find with many of the plants that we talk about. Stinging nettles like disturbed transitional, dandelions like it, burdock likes it. It's a fairly common place for plants to grow because the soil is disturbed. It's moved up, it takes seed easily, it takes water easily. Um, these things also like soil that is dry to damp. They don't really like wet places and they really like full sun to maybe partial shade. shade I'm sorry. But you're not going to find these things like deep in a forest. They need a lot of sunshine. They need fairly dry soil. Um, you can find goldenrod anywhere in North America. The, the Solidago canadensis you're going to find from the east coast to maybe central to maybe western Minnesota and from Kansas, Missouri, Iowa north into Canada, hence canadensis. Um, this plant is what we like to call minimally edible. You can eat it. Um, the flowers are edible, the leaves are edible. They have a very strange, not entirely unpleasant, but very strange flavor. And you really wanna cook it before you eat it. Um, if you are gonna use this as a food, I would start off small and work your way into it. And maybe use it as an ingredient in something rather than eating it by itself. It, Like I said, it just has a very strange flavor. Uh, however, medicinally, this thing is a powerhouse. The first thing I want to mention is this is not ragweed. For some reason, a lot of people think that this is ragweed, and it's not. Uh, ragweed is a completely different plant, and in fact, I will add a picture of ragweed in the comments so that you can all know what it looks like. Um, this plant is nearly impossible to be allergic to. The pollen on these flowers is so heavy that it can't be carried by the wind. It has to be moved by insects or birds or people. So this plant does not cause seasonal allergies. This is not ragweed, this is goldenrod. On the opposite side of things, in fact, this plant is a very powerful antihistamine. You can make a tea out of it, you can make a decoction out of it, you can make a tincture out of it, and when you ingest that, it fights seasonal allergies. In fact, what I use for what used to be really bad seasonal allergies is a mixture of goldenrod tincture and stinging nettle tincture. Those two things together, and I very rarely suffer seasonal allergies anymore. Um, also, you can dig up the root on these things. It's got a little bulb on the bottom. You can mash that thing into a poultice. You can use it to treat bruises and minor burns and as a skin wash for kind of skin infections. Um, if you make a decoction out of this or a tincture and take it internally, it can be used to treat kidney issues. It can be used to treat bladder and urinary issues. And it's also a mild astringent. One of the things that's cool about goldenrod is that it's a very mild medicinal, so it's safe for children. Um, you can use it for children's allergies or if they're having urinary problems. So there's really, there's a lot you can do with this plant and it's everywhere. It's very common. If you drive down the road today, you're probably gonna see it. It's a beautiful flower. It's a good friend and ally to have and it's part of our medicinal and edible toolkits. Further, for those who are interested, this tall, thin stem on these makes a halfway decent hand drill for fire making. Um, that's really the only utilitarian purposes I know. But, like I said, goldenrod, solidago canadensis, beautiful flower, great plant, edible, medicinal, and utilitarian. Thank you for watching. If you have any experience with this plant, please let us know in the comments. If you learned anything from this video, please share it with your friends. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day. See you next time.